nature. But against Marcus, consistently the wolf has been the answer. Consistently the wolf has done well. And Jackal's not trying to relinquish that first place crown that he wears oh so often here at the Fusion Weeklies as we are kicking it off right here on Pokemon Stadium 2. Seeds 1 and 4, another edition of these two's storied history. Yeah, this one's going to be interesting because I like the way that Jackal's playing a little bit more reserved behind the platform. The problem is, though, is what we're seeing right now is once Marcus gets in with a jungle... He him and Game of Watch itself kind of take a lot here. But speaking of a lot, that combo by Jackal there was great. Good air dodge out by Marcus. But how do you get out of this corner where Jackal kind of plays very tricky? It's all been dashed back, though. A lot of the times, Marcus is just finding success by going high and taking the vertical route, tr attempting for the call up there from Jackal, but gets eaten alive. Oh, that should just be a down smash. Not going to close out the stock here. Far too far in order to get off the side blast. Wow, that up air was so close, Lyric. Yeah, has the right idea, but it's just not going to lead into anything just yet. Here we go. The couple pummels into the back throw, and now Marcus going high. I like how we're kind of trying to vary up the way that we land here, just so we don't get an adaptation. But the thing is, with Game & Watch, one of the more lighter characters in this game, a dash attack from Wolf with barely any rage at all will just do the trick. Yeah, I like the stagger as well. Just a simple hop forward and into the instant dash attack to make sure that A, you're mixing up your timings, and B, you're getting the early hit of dash attack. That sends straight up, able to kill light characters like Game & Watch so, so reliably. Yeah, no, Jackal, honestly, still three socks to two right now, has a very Ooh. commanding lead. Finds the up throw forward air, trying to read the very quick downfall into the back air, but unable to find anything, but still catches out the jump. It's not going to be enough just yet. But now Jackal, trying to get into position, has the right idea with the up smash. But now Marcus has an ability to turn this around right now. We're able to get this edge guard. A couple pieces of the neutral B are going to connect, but how do you get anything going, Marcus? A huge opportunity loss. Yeah, that's super unfortunate. And just for him, a, a misspacing there completely, not respecting Wolf's roll onto ledge. Though we catch the roll that time, Lyric, the roll out of the corner is such a common option against Game & Watch sometimes. And you get to see the punish with that forward tilt. Though with Game & Watch as a lightweight online, you've got to be super picky about where you find your openers. Falling out of the Wolf forward tilt, though, and it gives Marcus an opportunity to hold center here. Another one of those early dash attacks that close out stocks straight off the ceiling. Yeah, honestly, with, with Wolf, right, and dash attack itself, especially on a lighter character, it's really nothing lost. And now we're going to start seeing yeah. kind of the Hail Mary options come out from Marcus here. Also does have a little bit of the bucket kind of heated up here, too. But now Jackal going to fight his way out of the corner with a couple aerials. But once again, the eject button from Game & Watch always seems to do the trick. It never fails, and it's so potent at what it does to the point where Jackal is playing so far back and just relinquishing space a lot of time. Having to respect the up B out of shield means that you give Game & Watch a lot of room to move and instead hunt to catch or read specific options based on patterns. And Jackal certainly has a lock based on what Marcus has done in the past and what he's been doing in this set to catch as many of these options as possible <laughs> and almost even closing out the stop there with the Nair into Wolf Flash. Yeah, honestly, Jackal trying to get a little bit tricky with it now, right? You are up a massive amount here. And you can kind of have a little bit of fun, but it will be the come off the platform back air to close it out. Game one going on over to Fisher College's very own Jackal. Marcus not trailing too far behind, but we could just amass kind of how that game kind of went downhill by the way that Marcus kind of didn't get kind of the stock for stock trade going. Jackal got a lot of extra credit before uh, Marcus was able to take that first stop. And I think it really came down to a prolonged sense of advantage, right? Marcus didn't have those uh, extreme juggle scenarios where he just would keep this fast faller off of the off of the stage or up in the air for so, so long. These nares, thanks to partially being a fast faller, a wolf was, would be able to get out of the, these, these dangerous situations with minimal damage and really put the screws on Marcus. Okay, there's the F tilt one. And now Marcus, I think, playing a little bit more resort here, but also still trying to push the advantage just a little bit more, forcing Jackal now into the corner. And now we're going into a very meticulous neutral here where both players really just want to try and find their way in, but without taking too much damage. You can tell, by the way, that they're both trying to just throw out a very safe option, then roll back, roll behind. All right, I'll look for my option elsewhere. Notice how Jackal not trying to kind of chase down more of the damage, but instead just saying, I want to prevent the juggle as much as possible. And that's a beneficiary to like just well organized around the matchup. You don't need a ton of percent to close out stocks against Game & Watch as Wolf. So finding your single hits and converting when the time arises is much more important than trying to greed for any sort of damage. 
Yeah, now look at Marcus. Totally content with just throwing out the forward air and approaching with it. It's one of Game & Watch's best tools. Accidental hopscotch there coming out from Jackal, though. Will allow for him to at least get boots on ground once more. But look at Marcus putting out this wall of forward air. It's so difficult sometimes for Wolf to get around. And honestly, the switch up in gameplay has been working out really well for Marcus. And Jackal is going to lose that first stock. Yeah, playing a lot more on hit and finding that edge guard against the Wolf Flash putting yourself in between Wolf and the stage. And with an active hitbox there, you're certain to close out that stock reliably, though. Marcus trying to find some means to extend here. Lyric, we're not seeing anything huge except another landing there yet. Jackal getting out of danger yeah. pretty well, but he's not really applying too much pressure. Yeah, no, honestly, at this point, right, if you're overextending, that means Game & Watch's green light go to start capitalizing. That's what Marcus is essentially doing right now, right? Uh, Jackal jumped into him, and then he ate a bunch of aerials for it. The air dodge is caught by the forward air, but look at this. Jackal once again resetting back to neutral and just waiting for his turn. The whiff grab doesn't lead into anything, though, because once again, Game & Watch's eject button is one of just the best moves in the game for this character unable to grab it with magna hands and marcus has certainly roared back this game yeah this is quite the answer here we can see another back air whiff we are swinging at ghost as game and watch is able to use that upbeat to get out of so many dangerous situations and jackal is just kind of forced to hold that right we're playing super grounded playing super defensive yet Marcus is the one in inevitably <laughs> dictating this pace and choosing when or not you come down. No, look at look at Marcus trying to go for the the judgment just because why not right? I mean you got you're up three socks to one. Uh, Jackal definitely can bring this back, but once again Marcus has changed up his playstyle so much to be a lot more defensive that he's not giving him the opportunities to you know hit these dash attacks for nothing or hit these aerials and Marcus being in. <laughs> just this is, floating away at this point. <laughs> That's full on mind games there yeah, for Marcus. Absolutely. But when you see him go for judge and you see him do some of these more, uh, let's call them degenerate kind of tactics. <laughs> sure, that, yeah, I like uh, that a lot more. <laughs> that Marcus tends to, uh, that Game & Watch can go for, you know, with these judgment spamming, down smash, uh, throwing out multiple grabs. It's part of the reason for it is to get in your head and to get a little risky, even when he's at 168 you know he wants that three stock and to go into game number three, the deciding game, with as much going for him as possible. The dash attack does close out the stock there from on the part of Jackal, but he's got so much ground to make up if this game two is going to be even remotely possible. I like the way that Jackal's still just trying to figure out the movement, right? Still not getting too fresh, frustrated enough to throw himself a little bit more into danger, but more so just saying, you know what? All right, the opportunity will come to me. Landing forward air does beat out Wolf here, but look at this beautiful Ooh. conversion that Jackal has been seething for this entire game so far. Still sitting at 116 on this final stock, but once again, the conversion rate so far on this combo has been fantastic. Marcus just jumping away to the other platform. And once more, Jackal being very patient, recognizes Marcus going to go for the dash attack and punishing beautifully with the up smash. Yeah, the walk back too to ensure that Marcus would stay on exactly one side, not risk the cross up, not risk strong dash attack, putting too much shield stun. Instead, we are sitting pretty with a one stock to one game. And you know what? With this much rage, <laughs> that was gross. But you know what? When you have a deficit like no that, way. you look for your win conditions Yo, there. Yo, smiling to himself too like, Nice. Got it. I'm good. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it so real right now. Hit me. Think about how much patience oh Jackal God. had to have for that entire game. Uh, the first game was over pretty quickly, right? There were about three minutes left on the clock, which means, you know, that's a close to a four minute game. <laughs> See, physically, <laughs> like cartoonishly Yo, shrunk. we need one of these again. <laughs> I think this was game one. Yeah. Um, but to have that much patience to honestly go down three stocks to one and then just turn around with the combo and be like, oh, you know what? I have it. Boom. Let me hit my flow state. Let me hit the flow chart that I know and love. Boom. We're good. But once again, going all the way down three stocks to one and being able to come back is so hype and so clutch. That's the jackal that we know and love. But of course, good stuff to Marcus as well. Once again, this character is Marcus's very own at this point. I do miss the Marcus Palatina. I'm not going to yeah. lie. Uh, that's El Clasico, but... It's a really good set. Yeah, Marcus has always wanted that character that can negate some other characters, though. He played early meta Palutena for a reason, and Correct. the Game & Watch kind of fits that same type of bill. And, oh, I love the reaction. <laughs> so good, Seeing man. the tech roll away there so you can react with the jump in forward air. 
Game & Watch's tech rolls are a little bit slower than the rest of the cast, so it helps with all that. Either way, though, we got to go to another matchup. Uh, I don't know if they're getting a button check-in. Sounds like Kelvin they might probably be. stop them. Yeah. I, I always... Kelvin the GOAT. Okay, so yeah. Production has got it on lock, but we can talk about our next match, which is going to be our New York representative in this winner side top eight in uh, Carflow. Yes.